Has this ever happened with you that you try to memorize a concept but you are unable to do so and retain it for a longer duration of time? Or even if you somehow memorized it, you vomited everything that you have uh, memorized in your answer sheet for the semester, but in the next semester you completely forget it. Well, in this video, I am going to tell you a very simple technique so that you can memorize a concept so that you can retain a concept for longer duration of time. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Happy to see your smiling faces once again. Well, technically I can't see your smiling faces, but I am seeing my own face. So anyways, welcome back to the channel. This is Arib Irshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials for the students of food science and technology. So if you want to level up your grades, level up your profile and simplify your studies, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Now the technique that I'm going to tell you today is known as Feynman technique. Now Feynman, Richard Feynman is a Nobel Prize winning physicist. He's a renowned phys uh, physicist and the technique is very simple to implement. Although it could take a bit longer but uh, I guarantee you that I have Im implemented it myself and it is totally practical. You are definitely going to memorize the concept for a longer duration of time. So here it goes. Well suppose this is the book that I'm using and there's a chapter food dehydration and concentration uh, in Norman food science in food science by Norman Potter and there is a small concept known as fluidized bed dryer. Now this is an equipment uh, and I want to memorize this equipment fluidized bed dryer. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to read the concept as it is from the book and then I'm going to rewrite this concept this specific topic in my own words. That means I'm going to make the notes of this specific topic. Now uh, it is important to know and it is important to understand that you have to write this topic rewrite this topic in your own words and why is that important? It is important because whenever you write something rewrite something in your own words in that way uh, the concept will be ingrained in your memory to much greater depths. Now the next step is to understand it thoroughly to understand it clearly and then teach it to someone else. You can take the concept and explain it to anyone else, literally anyone else. You can explain it to your colleague, to your roommate, to your bassmate, to your friends, to your siblings, cousins, father, mother, anyone. Basically, the whole point of teaching someone else is that whenever you are teaching someone a simple topic or a complicated topic, that topic, uh, first of all, you will have to understand it clearly to be able to teach it to someone else. For example, if I'm teaching you this technique, so I will, uh, I should have understood this technique clearly in my mind. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to uh, make it clear to you. For example, if I am teaching you pasteurization, so pasteurization, the concept of pasteurization should be clear in my mind. In the same way, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, I hope that you must have given some presentation or talk in your school or your college or whatever. So let's say that you have given a presentation on pasteurization. So if I compare, if you compare uh, in the exam or in the future, you must remember pasteurization more in, in comparison to the topics on which you have not given the presentation. And that is for a reason. Because when you were giving presentation, you were teaching that concept to someone else. You were responsible uh, for the other people to be able to understand that concept, whether it is simple or whether that is complicated. So whenever you teach a concept to someone else, what happens that that topic is ingrained in greater depths in your mind. Now, I know that taking down notes and teaching it to someone else can take longer time, uh, much effort, but believe me that this is going to uh, this is going to enable you to memorize a concept for a longer duration of time. And the best thing about this Feynman technique is that you can apply it to almost every concept that you are going to study or you have studied in food science and food technology. You can do it for the theoretical concepts and you can do it for numerical or derivative uh, derivations as well. Uh, you can just teach someone by just writing down the numerical and explaining step-by-step -step procedure what is happening in this numerical and what is going to happen next. So this technique is kind of universal and it applies to almost every concept and I have practically applied it and it has definitely worked for me. Well this was it, this was the short tip for today. Let me know down in the comments if this was valuable for you and apply this technique otherwise there, there was no meaning for making this whole video. So apply this, practically implement this in your own life, in your own studies and let me know down in the comments if this technique or this tip was valuable for you. So this was it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you have any kind of doubts or if you have any kind of feedback. I will make sure that I reply to most of you. And if you have not subscribed, 
what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Share this video as much as possible so that more people are benefited from this technique. I will see you next time. Class dismissed.